Hey everybody, hope you're doing well today. Thanks for joining me again. It's day three of 12 days of Christmas and the 27th of December leading up to January 6th. And I actually homemade <laughs> an advent calendar as well as I am in a 12 days of Christmas calendar like I did my advent calendar. So I have the one and two boxes in here, but let's see box number three. You know, it's interesting to me how the history of the song and the history of the times, this was more of a religious thing, and then it became secular from a lot of businesses um, enjoying it, the commercialism for Christmas from the 13th of December to the 25th of December for all kinds of excuses for different discounts and stuff, and that's okay for them but the original and the true meaning of the 12 days of Christmas um, and leading up to Epiphany is a biblical one so with that being said today December 27th we're reading Matthew 1 18 to 25 so we're continuing what we did yesterday and it is thought I'd do a little picture with it Three French horns. And we'll speak more about the three French horns in a little bit. So Matthew 1, 18 to 25, Joseph accepts his son. Here we go. This is how the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph... Her husband was a faithful was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace. He had in mind to divorce her quietly, but after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him, like it did to Mary, in a dream, and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit." She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the, the, what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son, baby Jesus, and gave him the name Jesus. Thanks be to God. You know, we talk about how wonderful Mary was, and obviously she was. Um, amazing, amazing. Um, amazing woman of God. Amazing what she went through the whole life of Jesus and to have to see him dying on the cross like she did. But we can't forget the unfailing love that Joseph had to God and then for both Mary and Jesus. I know many have taken on the children of the spouses' prior marriages as their own. I've always had tremendous respect for these beautiful individuals. The unconditional love and sacrifices are deserving of much admiration and appreciation. Joseph was definitely a man who today's men could hope to live up to and be like. I'm a stepdaughter, and my stepdad has been the most amazing male figure in my life, and I can't thank him enough. And I was 19 when he and my mom married, and he he rescued me in a lot of ways. So, uh, the 12 days of Christmas, um, which actually I'm... First, like I said, I'm going through like different uh, biblical descriptions of the symbols of, of Christmas. So today we're going to talk about Santa Claus himself. He's recognized by different names and especially in different countries and in different faiths, different religions um, or sects of Christianity, different um, denominations and so forth. Some are Father Christmas, some are St. Nicholas, St. Nick, Kris Kringle, and simply Santa, Santa Claus. St. Nicholas was born around CE 280. He was a Christian bishop. The whole purpose of Santa was about generosity and caring for children, caring for others as a whole. 
The wise men gave Jesus gifts, and in remembrance of Jesus, we give gifts to the children today and thus other loved ones in our lives. I just really like hearing and seeing the different um, explanations of the symbols from Christmas. Now, the 12 days of Christmas um, today is three French hens. This stands for, um, biblically stands for, um, stood for faith, hope, and love. And for 1 Corinthians 13, of course, we see, and now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. So continuing from yesterday, I want to um, share a little bit better and explanations and, and so forth about the history of the song and, and what the meanings are for the symbols for the 12 days of Christmas. I really like um, the resource um, that I'll share um, and kind of go back and forth to a little bit that explains that um, things you can do for the 12, 12 days of Christmas. And one says a plan an evening of putts, P-U-T-Z, and that is what they call a nativity scenes. This is what got me very interested in learning about Epiphany to begin with, because when I lived in Costa Rica, I attended a couple of these such events. Um, many locations, including reading of the story of St. Francis of Assisi and their first and the first nativity scene. Options for this are to go to one another's homes, for this time of scripture reading and prayers and remembrance of what the nativity is all about, but also can be done in like a group, in a church um, fellowship hall or whatever the like. It's, it's all about um, bringing together the people and, and going over their different nativity scenes and sharing what they mean to each other and how different we can all make them. So I, I just I just love learning these histories and the little different ways people celebrate Christmas and the 12 days of Christmas and everything else like that and the birth of Jesus, what it's all about. So we will talk more tomorrow. You take care and God bless. Love y'all. Bye-bye.